Okay, so we got a big Kruger haul video here for you. So, yeah, we got uh, a bunch of new Hot Wheels and some Matchbox and a lot of cool stuff to look at so let's get into it here uh, uh, whenever I dump it on the table I always have a heck of a time trying to give us room to put stuff that we've looked at so uh, let's throw everything up in a big pile Wow, that one went over the table. Okay. And the receipt just says Hot Wheels a bunch of times. Alright. We'll start out with uh, kind of a normal one here. Jaguar XE SV Project 8 uh, in the Nightburner series. Most of these are going to be opened up. Some of them won't, though. I guess we can angle this down now. It's a pretty green color, dark green. It's got tail lights and Jaguar emblems on it. It's like maybe a carbon fiber looking roof with the, the or maybe they just fogged the windows. I don't know. I've seen Hot Wheels do that before. But. Anyway, we got the the grill and everything is detailed as well. And the headlights. It's a nice car. Alright, and then this is so cool that I had to buy two of them. It's a 57 Plymouth Fury with bright orange flames. This is obviously in the Hot Wheels Flames series. And uh, we're going to open one up and keep one in the package. The one in the package, I guess, will stick somewhere else. So I'm going to open this one up here. The picture is really cool, too. And so is the actual car. Nice white, uh, and then there's various colors of orange and red, like this is kind of a dream sickle orange, and then we got a darker orange and a, a red in there, and then it's got orange windows and then a black interior. It says Plymouth on the rear fin here, if the camera will focus. Got a Hot Wheels badge up here on the fender. Also says Goodyear. It's got the steel wheels with the uh, yellow rim around them. Big chrome grill. Really cool. Really cool car there. Plymouth Fury. Alright, I've got one of these open in the last video, so this one can go on the wall. This is Custom Auto. It's a mixture of a lot of different 
muscle cars. It's in the Muscle Mania series. That's a pretty cool one, I think. And it kind of reminds me of this one here. A little bit. They're both muscle cars, and they're both purple. Maybe the purple is what is actually making them look close to the same. This is the Ion Motors Thresher. Looks like some kind of old Mopar car to me, like a, a Dodge or a Plymouth. In the Hot Wheels Screen Time series, it's from the Fast and Furious Spy Racers, which apparently is a Netflix series. It's a new car for 2020. I assume that's probably one of the characters in the show. I suppose you can pause and read that if you want to. Maybe that guy's Tony. I don't know. There are a couple of these, so we'll, we'll open one up. The Ion Motors Thresher. It's a really cool car, I think. And um, it's got the retro slots wheels on them, which Hot Wheels used to use for the cool classic series. But since they did away with that series, I'm glad they're starting to use those wheels on other cars. Oh, there you go. Tony's car, it says. Now, the, it, not knowing what this was, you know, from, like if I just saw this car, like out of the package... And I wanted to know what it was, and it said Tony's car on the bottom. I would be kind of confused, but knowing since I just pulled it out of the package, it's from a series that makes sense. Got some tail lights back there. The camera is having trouble focusing tonight. Little lock for the trunk there. It's a purple, but if you turn it a cer certain ways, it looks gray. It's not the gray isn't really showing up on camera. It looks very, very purple on the camera. It's there's some gray in it. It's just kind of hard to see on the camera for some reason. The grill there. There you go. And it's got some purple. On the underneath of it there. Wonder why they have the purple, two pieces of purple plastic in the grill. They could have just cast that all as one piece of metal. Really cool. It's kind of a black chrome. Uh, it's got the side pipes on it. Some smooth back there. I like, like the chrome around the windows. And... Since the camera's not focusing, I can't really see the interior. But it looks like it's probably a plum color. Yeah, it is. It's plum. It's a really cool looking car there. Something very different from anything we've looked at so far. In the Hot Wheels Exotics series, this is the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Interesting color one. And I think we'll just leave this in the package. I hope they come out with this in different colors. Because I like the car. I don't dislike the color. I like the colors of this, but I have a lot of Ferraris and Lamborghinis and stuff loose. So we'll stick that one on the wall. this over here oh another one to go on the wall here because I know I will do nothing with this out of the package and that's another Tokyo games uh, Olympic games car here skate Grom it's a skateboarder for the skateboarding sport for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics skateboard has the Olympics uh, no, that doesn't have a logo. The guy has the logo. The skateboarder has a Olympics logo. The skateboard is painted up 
in the Olympic fashion, though. Tokyo 2020. Got the um, logo for the skateboarders. Pink stripe there and Hot Wheels badge, of course. Interesting base on that car. Yeah, I know that I would do nothing with this car out of the package, so I'm not even, I'm not going to take it out. Um, there's a fan zone scanner for the Olympics. I try not to do two. I'm going to hang on the wall in a row, but I can't do anything about I just wondered what that was, so I grabbed it. Here we have a 68 Shelby GT500. That's really cool. Kind of a sleek car here. I love the fog lights in the grill. I think that looks cool. It's got some flames on it. It's in the Hot Wheels Flames series. And we're going to open it up. It's a very pretty blue color. Kind of a deep blue. It's got flames everywhere. And, uh, and the gold wheels to match it. Got a Hot Wheels badge. Looks like clear window. Yeah, clear windows with a black interior. I like those flames. There's the front of the car there. None of the lights are painted in. I wish the lights were painted in, but they're not. 68 Shelby GT500. All right, another Olympics car here. I opened this up in the last haul video as well, uh, which was the Needler's Hall. I keep referring back to that, so I should tell you that's the most recent Needler's Hall video, which will probably be the video posted right before this video. Uh, Velocita was for the Olympic swimming. And the last haul video wasn't super long, so you could skip through and find this pretty easy, I would assume. It's got a fan zone scanner as well. Creating quite a stack here. And we have the Rock and Santa sled in green and gold, which looks a lot better than the gold and chrome. This looks more Christmassy to me. The new for 2020. The special feature I don't think works very well. He's supposed to rock back and forth. But <laughs> on the one of these that I have open, it doesn't seem to rock back and forth very well. But there he is with the presents and everything in the back. It's got white tires on it again. And I still think that uh, August, September was a weird time for this casting to come out, since it's Christmas-related. Pull some more stuff down out of the pile here. Alright, so... 71 MGB Coupe. And it is a matchbox. The Matchbox Countryside series. That is a really cool looking car. There you go, you can MG driving through the dirt <laughs> in the farm. We're gonna open this one up here. Somebody's going to tell me I open these up weird. I always open them up in the corner because I try to save the card art. So that's why I that's why I do that. It probably does look weird if you didn't know why I was doing that. Though. There you go. 71 MGB, MGB GT Coupe. Got all my letters right here. A lot, of, a lot going on down here. Very bright red. Grill detailed with a oh nice got an MG emblem 
If the camera would focus, I would love that. Put my hand behind it. There you go. And then around the back as well. So that's cool. Kind of a European style license plate on it. Interior there. It's black so it would be hard to see. I don't know why they ran, can you see the the post? They ran the rivet post up through the interior. I guess there's not really enough back to it though to have just used the trunk there. So I guess they had to do that. But anyway, no complaints with this one really. I mean, it's that's cool and it's a different, you know, it's something different. Uh, all right. Let's go with a Hudson here. A 52 Hudson Hornet. There's a Hot Wheels in the Rod Squad series. I do believe I have this open. So I have one to hang on the wall now. And I can't tell you what all video this was in. I've had this one's been out for a while. Um maybe they just re-released it into another series. But that one I have seen out for a while. Um, this I have not seen out for a while, but I know it's been out for a few months because I saw it on eBay when it first when I first heard about them Hot Wheels making it, and it was expensive on eBay. So I thought I'll wait in for in the store, and I thought that I had missed it because I waited like three months. <laughs> And, um, never did see it. Sometimes I would go to the store specifically seeing if they had this. And of course, I came home with something else, but they never did have this. So I was very glad for them to have it. It's the 91 GMC Cyclone, which is a new casting for 2020. Uh, I know they didn't make the Cyclones in very many colors. I think they made them in black. Or, I know they made them in black. I think they made them in red as well, but... Anyway, even if they didn't, GM didn't actually make them in other colors, I'd like to see Hot Wheels maybe use this casting a lot for, you know, maybe a Flame series or uh, just different colors. It'd be nice to see. There you go. You can read about that there. Uh, now, I'm going to open one of these up, but... Oh, they're the same. Okay, the first... Uh, anyway... I'm going to open one up, keep one in the package. Um, oops, something fell down. It's okay. So we're going to open this one up. This one's just, everything's the same. I get all my dirty fingerprints on it. There it is, all glossy black. And I really like the uh, wheels on this. I don't, I don't normally like these wheels, but I think they fit with the name of the truck being Cyclone. I, I think the wheels kind of fit pretty well. On the tailgate, it says Cyclone and GMC truck. If the Camera will focus on that. No, it's just going to focus on my handprint for some unknown reason. Okay. Take my word for it. There you go. Cyclone and GMC truck. And we got the taillights painted in there. Pretty basic gray interior. And they didn't do anything on the front, which kind of, I don't understand. They did it on the back and the side, so you would think they would at least do the GMC letters in the grill, but no. Why would you, why would I expect them to do that? Switching gears again, we have a 2016 Lamborghini Cent Centenardo. I have not read what this is. Centenario, Centenario Roadster. 
I'm not Italian. I can't pronounce that per correctly. This is in the Hot Wheels Roadsters series, which evidently is a new series. I've never heard of that series before, and I don't recognize the logo for that series. Hmm. It's a new one on me. It's got some funky tail lights on it there. Wrapping around the whole car, or whole back of the curvature of the car there. We'll open this one up. Since I didn't open up the last Lamborghini, we'll, we'll certainly look at this one out of the package. Got all the dust off of it. Not sure what that is. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I think that's a big bubble in the paint. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be there. You can see there's a little, little opening in the window there. I'm going to say a T-top, but the whole top comes out, so it's not a T-top. Uh, but anyhow, typical Lamborghini styling, I would say. Very sleek and low profile. Unique looking, for sure. It says Lamborghini back there. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the paint here, but... Uh, wow, very, very flat on the bottom. Yeah, Centenar Centenario, I'm going to guess is how that's pronounced. I don't know. All right, here we have a uh, 68 Chevy Nova in the Rod Squad series once again. It is featuring the, what do I want to say, Army uh, theme of the Shark mouth and eye and it's camouflage but it's just red and orange camouflage uh they had a green and green camouflage a green and dark green camouflage uh at some point and it was also in the rod squad series actually i have that handy for once i can show you what i'm talking about so it's the same paint job the camouflage shapes are even the same. They just happen to be different colors. Which, from a uh, point of, like, Hot Wheels, like, economically, that makes sense for them to just change the colors and not redesign a whole new thing for them to do. But, uh, it says Hot Wheels badge there. Almost looks like the hood opens, but of course, with it being a Hot Wheels, it does not. But I'll prove it to you anyway. It does not open. Nice and shiny base there. 68 Nova. Really cool car. Okay, our Renault is running away, so we'll just go into this next. Something different. You don't see these in the U.S. It's a Ren it's a Renault Kangoo. A Renault Kangoo in the Matchbox City series. And um, this Kangoo haul is for Agave Acres. And if you've ever seen some of those agave plants, they get pretty big. Uh, I'm, we're going to open this up. Why read it through? Why, sh why should I read it through the plastic packaging? It seems kind of silly to do. So it's an interesting shape. It kind of goes up the side there. Like, instead of being flat, it kind of curves up the side. Green Thumb Crew, number 58. Monticello Heights, California. Since 1992, bringing to your bringing life to your drought something life bringing life to your I can't read the rest of it. Sorry. 
Last word looks like dreams. Something agricultural dreams. I'm trying to read it through the camera so it's small and I can't see it. And out of the camera I can't see it either. So if you can read that, let me know what it says because I can't read it. Uh, 2018 Renault Kangoo Express. Big Renault emblem on the front of the car there. Nothing on the back. And there you go, yeah. Alright, got a gasser here. The 64 Chevy Nova Wagon Gasser. Southeast Gassers Association. This one's cool. I like this casting. Uh, let's see. Muscle Mania series. Usually when Hot Wheels comes out with one of these gassers, I I buy it. I don't I don't buy every one, but I usually if it's something like this, I usually do pick up one because I think they're cool. Really cool. There's your engine there. Good, the camera's starting to actually focus. The Chevrolet, Bowtie, Hot Wheels, Goodyear, and Southeast Gassers Association. Got the skinny tires on the front and the wide ones on the back. Like it should be for a gasser. No, yeah, no back window. You can kind of see the roll bar and the, everything's chrome, so it's kind of hard to see everything in there. There you can kind of see the roll bar just for the driver. So that's cool. The 1970 Dodge Power Wagon. And this is in the Hot Truck series. I don't recall seeing this in a as a mainline vehicle before. But this is another one that they've had out for a few months. Um, it's not just one that they you know like just came out with um they had it in the uh mopar series and it had a metal base on it and it, w it was a heavy truck but for the uh like mainline series like this i i don't recall seeing it before pretty cool it says dodge there it's just just i mean it's uh Looks like the real old Power Wagons do. You know, not a lot of graphics or anything to read. Got some issues with the paint on this side. Some scratches and stuff in it. But other than that, pretty cool. Again... I guess not again, but uh, another new one, I should say. The 2020 Jeep Gladiator in the Baja Blazers series. It's a new casting for 2020. So this one is a Rubicon. Got some dirt bikes in the back of it there. And we can go ahead and open this up. They went a little overboard with the uh, black and the grill, I think. It's not supposed to be a big solid stripe, but there it is. Did I get two of those? Yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here, this is how that's supposed to look. Not a big solid stripe like that. So, since I, I bought one to do a custom with, so I think since... I'll be color matching the grill with uh, whatever color I decide to paint the truck. I think this will be the one that I do since their machine kind of went overboard with the black ink. I'm not sure why they decided to cast the grill into the plastic instead of into the truck. It doesn't really matter though. 
It's got wider tires on it. Like I mentioned, dirt bikes in the back. Now the last one you couldn't really see. This one you can't either. But they did they did put Jeep on the tailgate. You can kind of see. There you go. You can see it now. It does say Jeep on the tailgate. Obviously the tailgate doesn't shut because there's motorcycles on it. Or dirt bikes, whatever. So anyway, that's the cat if you can hear that sound. Uh, anyway, really cool truck. I think I like these Jeep Gladiator. Um, looks nothing like the original old Gladiator, but it's still cool. Rip Rod from Hot Wheels Dream Garage Series. Normally, I don't like Rip Rod. I just think it's kind of a goofy looking car. But just the simple red with the Hot Wheels logo, I like Rip Rod. Um, another reason I don't care for it is because the body of it's all plastic, just the base of it's metal. Uh, we'll keep this one in the package, but I'll try to give you a good idea of what it looks like. As you can kind of see, the other side looks just like this side. Again, it's in the Dream Garage series. Oops, sorry. And we have here the um, yeah Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> I wonder why they put Jeep Wrangler roll bar. Uh, Jeep Wrangler, I would say about a 93. Um, that would be my guess. And um, this is obviously, as you can see, Jurassic Park. Unit number 18. It says Jeep right there. And um, this is different than the uh, Jeeps that Matchbox put in their Jurassic Park series. Uh, obviously it looks the same, but the Jurassic Park series ones have like mud and stuff splattered over them. So this is like just a clean version of it, I guess. Um, yeah, nothing on the back. Yeah, just a Jeep Wrangler roll bar. Uh, they had a bunch of Jeeps. I... I thought there was a special series of Jeeps, but they must just all be in the Jungle series. Obviously, these were not in the bin with all the Hot Wheels, but... But, surprisingly enough, the uh, car culture cars were thrown in the, the bin with um, all of the $1 cars, so... It didn't really make sense, but... Only complaint is that they never put trailer hitches on these. But that's really my only complaint. I like this style Jeeps with the square headlights. I think they did that from like 87 to somewhere in the 90s. They quit doing that. Anyway, it just says Jeep Wrangler there. No year on it. Like I said, I think it's about a 93. I think that's what most of the Jurassic Park vehicles are. JP18, and that's what, the name Jeep actually started out, it was, the abbreviation was JP, people just started calling them Jeeps, and so that's what Willie's started calling the JP was a Jeep, which was designed for the Army, of course, Jurassic Park there, uh, there's the roll bar that they're talking about. I don't know why they put that in the uh, um, in the name, though. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's pretty scale. Looks about right with the uh, the new Jeep there. There's another off-road vehicle here. Another Hot Wheels. This is a Matchbox. I'm sure you saw that on the package, but. Um, the Humvee in the um, Art Cars series. I would have expected this to be in the Off-Road series. But I haven't seen the Humvee for a while from Hot Wheels. Maybe they've... Nope, they brought it back. Because that says 2014 and um, 
I know that they've made the Humvee before that. Matchbox also made it. Um, but since Matchbox is owned by Mattel, which is the same company that makes Hot Wheels, it would make sense that they recycle their castings for both companies. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that. The camouflage, grassy stuff is like a bunch of Hot Wheels logos. Just different sizes and colors. Even on the side, that's cool. And then I can't tell what this shape is supposed to be. Unless it's a dragon. Yeah, maybe it's a dragon. Whatever it is, it's cool. I like the paint job on this. The body is plastic. The base is metal. There you go. AM General... Ugh. AM General Corporation. I can't speak, apparently. So that's who makes Humvees, is AM General. So A big uh, trailer hitch on the back there, and it's die-cast, so it's harder to break off. On the old one, when it was a matchbox, this trunk opened up, and it had a little revolving gun on the top of it. But they did away with that a long time ago. Uh, I suppose the gun, when it broke off, was probably a choking hazard. Uh, Bone Shaker here in the Dream Garage series. Pretty cool. And I... I think maybe they've had this this same variation for a while now. Uh, I know I've got one on the wall, so we'll open this one up. But it seems like it was a while ago I purchased the other one. So anyhow, the, here it is. Why is the camera moving? I didn't touch that camera; it just started moving. Uh, there's Bone Shaker there, got a skull with the Hot Wheels emblem in its mouth. With Hot Wheels. Big steel wheels in there. Got the skull on the front, of course, for the Bone Shaker. This one's got a solid top on it. Uh, it used to be the Bone Shaker had an open top. I don't know on all of them, but I know some of them do because I've got one like that. Got a couple like that. They've made Bone Shaker off and on for quite a few years, I think. I don't actually know when they first came out with it. That's something I should know. They made that car one of their signature cars now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Why is there dust everywhere? Okay. The 1990 Acura NSX in the Hot Wheels Exotics series... Rayula Circuit, International Racing Course, Rayula Circuit. That must be what that is. That must be the track. That's not a signature. That must be what that track looks like. Big R on the front of the car there. I will open this one up. So, Again, why should I look at it through the plastic? Big clear top or tinted top on it, but... With some light, you can see the engine in there, and then the uh, interior. It says International Racing Course, Rayula Circuit. And like I say, I think that's probably what the shape of the track is, or the layout of the track. Got an Acura logo down here. A big green R, like a Gumby green R on it. What's that say? A-S-A-D-A? A-S-A-D-A? -A -A? Asada? Oh, that was on the other side. I didn't see that on the other side. Lights are not painted on this one. And there's the base of it. All right, three more. I'm gonna do a separate video on the five pack, but I will show you what's in there. Got the Porsche 911 GT RS in the Hot Wheels Exotic series. 
a signature up there, which I was trying to read earlier. T, and then there's an X. Maybe an R. I don't know. Anyway. Regardless of who whose signature or sponsor that is, it doesn't really matter to me. And so Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Got like a space helmet on the roof there. There is a Porsche logo hidden in with the graphics on the front of this car. And there are a lot of interesting graphics on there. And the gold on the wheels looks nice with the uh, gold paint. And then the, the way that it fades into the hood there looks cool. And there's nothing really on the back. It doesn't carry around the back there. Alright, so the only way that I saw these um, new car culture cars was because they were mixed in the big bin with all the other Hot Wheels. And then I have another Fast and Furious 5 pack here. Uh, we got a 67 Mustang, a 70 Monte Carlo, Porsche 911, a Nissan Skyline, and a 69 Camaro. So we'll look at those in a separate video. I really like that. Um, I really like that Monte Carlo. I think it's cool. So, like I said, we'll do a separate video on that. I like to make a separate video on the five packs. Now this series has some really cool vehicles in it. I'm telling you what. Um, what is this series called? Wild Terrain. It's a car culture series. All the cars are just a little bit nicer. Got an 88 Mercedes. I can't speak. 88 Mercedes Unimog. Got a 67 Camaro Off-Road. Got a uh, 1986 Porsche 959. Got a Land Rover Defender 110. And an 85 Bronco. Um, I would have bought, even though these are more expensive, I would have bought the whole series had they had the whole series. I bought the two that they had, which this is pretty cool. I, I can't complain about them only having two. This is cool. This is the 88 Mercedes Unimog U1300 that I can't poke my finger through the cardboard for. Well, we might get this thing open. Good grief. Alright, so it's very front heavy because the even though the whole base is die cast, the um, uh, the cab is also die cast, but then the the box on the back is plastic, so it makes it for quite a front heavy vehicle. Got the doors way up there. Spot for license plate and the tail lights. Big grippy off road tires on it. Backcountry paramedic why why can I not say anything? Paramedic patrol and response. Got a red interior it looks like. Got a snorkel. A snorkel on there, I think. Big Mercedes logo and does say Unimog on the, right there. Got your headlights down here in the bumper. There's there's base of it there. Just a really cool truck, I think.
rolls pretty good too. All right, and then we have um, this is in the same series, the 1986 Porsche 959. Looks like it's a desert racing vehicle, which I suppose that would be wild terrain, especially for a Porsche. Uh, again, all metal, because the uh, car culture cars are usually all metal. Now, that's strange. Rather than give the car a back window, they just kept it solid and printed in a back window. That doesn't really make sense to me. But that's what they did. Number 186. Got the windows there. Porsche. Bliston. It says Bliston all over the car. I like these wheels. Those are cool wheels. It's got bigger tires on it, obviously, than a normal Porsche would. Got the tail lights there. Porsche logo. It says Porsche up there. It's a pretty cool little car. It's heavy, too. So there is all the cars, zoom out here, there is all the cars that we looked at today. I know that was kind of a long video, and I knocked down the blazer over here, but uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video, and um... Oh, I don't know what the next video will be. Maybe another haul video. Oh, we've got to do the five-pack for the Fast and Furious, so keep an eye out for that.